educator Carlos Plain of Durham School states, most certainly, I went through my whole time on Earth encouraging a particular speculation of the universe, and by and by the speculation is being tried. I invite that, since that is how we push ahead. That is the means by which we gain ground in science. The James Webb Space Telescope is disturbing a great deal of what has been viewed as truth in cosmology for the New Year's. Another ultra-deep picture shows that we have committed blunders in cosmology. The telescope that was supposed to show us the essential stars of the universe is transforming into an adversary of the past point of view and may present to us an altogether unique science. Not all investigators are cowering in fear at the new realities. Various specialists welcome the developments, since it has for a long while been sure that something was the matter with our old hypotheses. The aberrations in the assessment of the expansion speed of the universe alone ought to have shaken researchers. Cognizance quite some time in the past, yet all things being equal, they adhered to old hypotheses. The cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, considered the most settled light in the universe, was made about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, when the universe had cooled enough for electrons and protons to form stable hydrogen particles. Investigators call this headway reionization, which made the universe vulnerable to light. The CMB was first seen in 1964 by American physicists Arno Pensius and Robert Wilson while they were managing another kind of radio receiving wire technology. This revelation was for some time seen as very potentially the most grounded piece of evidence for the Big Bang Theory, obtaining Pensius and Wilson a Nobel Prize and an undeniable spot in the history of stargazing. The CMB probably offers a review of the energetic universe, with little temperature differences giving critical information about the conditions not long after the Big Bang. Scientists used the CMB as a strong etching of the fundamental estimations of the material universe to check the expansion speed of the universe among various things. The astronomer Edwin Hubble had previously resolved this in the late 1920s finding that faraway grandiose frameworks recede from us each which way and that their speed is comparing to their distance. Today, these discernments are known as the Hubble Law or the Hubble Constant. Hubble didn't have the high-level assessing strategies available many years some other time when the CMB was found, which incited a recalculated expansion rate, are generally lower than Hubble's exceptional figure. Later scientists recalculated the rate again using type IA supernovae as standard candles, providing stable light that could be used as a reliable measuring point. The assessments inside the CMB yielded an expansion speed of around 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec, while assessments using supernovae yielded around 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec. What does this qualification in determining the expansion speed of the universe genuinely tell us? Did you realize that this blunder has been known since the 1990s? Since then, researchers have known or felt that something might be the matter with the examination of the CMB the assessment techniques, or the prospect of the universe's expansion. The irregularity between the different assessed potential gains of the expansion rate is known in science as the SAA tension or Hubble tension. The implications of this strain are enormous, showing that critical portions of how we could decipher the universe might be damaged for quite a while. Experts were confounded since the James Webb Space Telescope went into operation. It has given analysts amazing data that may now uncover knowledge on the issue of the development speed of the universe, with systems so old and mature that their development ought to speculatively begin before the Big Bang, overturning old cosmology. Researchers no longer discuss blunders or assessment contrasts. They discuss the best crisis in modern stargazing. Not only could the expansion rate be misguided, but the whole thought of advancement or the Big Bang itself is being tended to. Organizations of pictures give evidence of a universe completely not the same as what we have long thought. The SAA pressure was the first rebuke. Experts who still have confidence in old theories now manage an issue. Do we really have a lot of familiarity with the universe? Various scientists stand on the remnants of their beautiful source of both blessing and pain, examining space with horror, grappling with what they find. Considering the crisis in science, we ought to inquire ourselves what we really know about the universe. To answer this, we want to fathom how science functions. Theoretical scientists use a complicated snare of mathematical models, careful data, and logical reasoning to draw closes from the general to the explicit. Their understanding comes from a mix of notice idiosyncrasies, preliminary outcomes, and speculative assessments. 
The term theory alone shows that these are constructs and contemplations, not altogether bits of knowledge. The only feasible data we have are the photos telescopes provide, the sound waves and radiation gathered with radio telescopes, and the most recent data from neutrino assessing systems or gravitational wave locators. With the James Webb Space Telescope, we now have an instrument that can isolate the most laid-out light into person frequencies and analyze it in marvelous ways. Webb can show us the pervasive parts in world universes more than 13 billion years ago, how much mass they contained, and how many stars were right there. Can also reproduce the shape and course of a world's improvement. Webb can likewise have inadequacies. For example, it can't continuously determine with confirmation whether we are seeing universes or black holes with enormous gathering circles that radiate as splendidly as a universe. We ought to confront the reality that our science has long recognized an excessive number of conceivable outcomes as experiences and excused elective explanations. Research has for a long while been certain of its exactness. The latest revelations from the James Webb Telescope are imperative clues to replace hypotheses with new insights, as has happened usually in science. Analysts are by and by holding up. The new disclosures are unnecessarily astonishing, and various investigators struggle to concoct new explanations. The new disclosures shake the foundations of our actual science, alarming various experts. The present examples of actual science are still commonly established on Isaac Newton's assessment from the 17th century. His laws of development and gravity were the foundation of our genuine cognizance of this current reality and the universe for many years. Newton's guidelines get a handle on the improvements of things under normal conditions and function outstandingly on Earth. In any case, in space, his considerations required expansion, mostly wrapped up by Albert Einstein close to the beginning of the 20th century. Einstein's remarkable theory of relativity, published in 1905, bombshell how we could decipher reality, showing that they are relative to each other and depend upon the observer's improvement. His general theory of relativity, published in 1915, expanded this thought with mathematical affirmations of gravitational quarks considering the twist of spacetime by masses like stars or universes. Einstein's guidelines and contemplations were insightful in various regions. However, he also knew their limits. He realized his hypotheses would never totally portray the universe and yearned for seeing a world condition which he didn't achieve. No other trained professional has one right up till now. Where is the M-step? Wouldn't it be interesting to be aware where it lies? Michio Kaku, a notable astrophysicist from the USA, said in a meeting that handling this issue would certainly win a Nobel Prize. How about we explore whether the specialists might have dismissed conceivable misinterpretations or whether our telescopes are to blame? Dark matter and dark energy are at the top of the suspect list for the authentic reasons for the cosmological crisis. Our progressing models of the universe consolidate thoughts that dark matter and dark energy make up around 95% of the universe. In any case, neither has been clearly observed, and their certified presence has never been shown. They likely won't exist in any way, shape, or form, requiring different explanations for the universe's turn of events and the elements of frameworks. Alternatively, they could have properties we don't yet realize. One idea is that the genuine properties of dark matter and dark energy have changed over time, possibly showing some kind of insight. Gravity is one more plan to obviously be attempted. This power provoking interest through mass or curve in spacetime has not yet been illustrated. The considerations of spacetime curve mostly begin from Einstein and have been approved conventionally. In any case, we can't block the probability that gravity has unforeseen properties in contrast to what we thought or that another effect causes the gravitational draw between objects. Throughout the long term, a couple of characteristics have been spread out in cosmology and stargazing as endless constants. The examination of the universe has always been a journey defined by our persisting excursion for understanding and discovery, from outdated human headways taking note of the stars to current space telescopes testing the profundities of the universe. Each movement in development and theory has revealed new mysteries while testing established convictions in the area of cosmology. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, remains as an aid of our logical headway, promising to change how we could decipher the universe's beginnings and advancement. Shipped off with extraordinary limits, JWST addresses a hop forward in observational space science, 
arranged to look further into reality than any time in recent memory, one of the radiation with unrivaled precision. The CMB, frequently insinuated as the glint of the Big Bang, gives a view of the universe as it existed only 380,000 years after its first experience with the world. This ancient rarity radiation conveys critical information about the universe's hidden conditions, including its temperature variances, which are fundamental for understanding the improvement of universes and enormous scale structure. The blunder in the purposeful potential gains of the Hubble constant, known as the Hubble pressure, has been a subject of extended conversation. It proposes that something is off with our fundamental cognizance of the universe and its starting. Webb's discoveries challenge traditional hypotheses and demand an evaluation of whether our view of cosmic improvement is inappropriately settled. New perceptions may uncover unseen pieces of the universe's creation, posing inquiries about dark matter and dark energy, two unexplainable elements forming most of reality. The advance of science hinges on the capacity to reshape our hypotheses in light of new information. Webb's mission exemplifies this pursuit. Its discoveries will serve as a foundation for upcoming cosmological discussions and should spur progressive perspectives on our universe's mysteries. The future of cosmology may witness significant transformations, resulting in more extensive implications for our understanding of the universe, from the Big Bang to the continuous processes defining its fate. The response to the great cosmic puzzle may lay beyond our existing comprehension, and Webb's observations may ultimately be pivotal in unearthing new truths that could reshape our understanding of reality itself.